Hi, I'm Tyler Easton. We've got Christina here with the town of Silverthorne. Christina, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Doing well. So we're talking a little bit about parks and some of the outdoor activities that are going on this month. Tell us about what we got going on over at Rainbow Park. Yes, uh, Silverthorne's got some great outdoor amenities. So Rainbow Park, if you've got little ones uh, or a friend's family coming into town with little ones, Rainbow Park's the perfect place to get out, enjoy a snow day, go sledding, you know, stop by Blue Moon or Enza's and pick up some pastries and hot chocolate and then go out there and have a day of fun on the snow sledding. Perfect. And you were kind of telling me before that that's, that's a little bit of a gradual hill, so it's nothing yes. too crazy. <laughs> so what if we were looking for something a little more adrenaline fueled for our preteens and maybe our teens? Take them out to Maryland Creek Park. Don't forget to bring them a picnic too, because they'll need a refuel hiking up the bigger hill. <laughs> but um, Maryland Creek Park is a great place to go sledding for adults, older kids. It's super fun. Um, it's a great place to go and spend a day. Okay, excellent. In case you need to get a little, a little quicker down the hill, yes. have some fun. Um, then you're also telling me about the Raven. The Raven has a great opportunity for cross-country skiing. You're mentioning the rentals, everything that goes along with that. Just kind of give us the, the whole rundown yeah. on that. Yeah, so um, the Raven at Three Peaks Golf Club has a free Nordic Center open to cross-country skiers or snowshoers. It's completely free, dawn to dusk, every day. Um, if you need gear, there's some great shops in town that have those rentals. So you can stop by Gore Range Sports, Wild Ernest Sports, pick up the gear you need for a day, go give it a try. Um, parking's at the clubhouse. There's two courses, um, really amazing views of Buffalo Mountain, the Gore Range. So um, if you're looking to get into the sport or just looking to get out for a quick uh, little adventure on the course, the Raven's a great place to go. So Side note for those of us that have the dogs, where are dogs allowed, where are dogs not allowed with these different activities? Yeah, so um, no dogs at the Raven Nordic Center. It's a great question. Um, that course is really open just for snowshoers and cross country skiers. So no walking, no sledding, um, no dogs at the Raven. But if you have a four-legged friend, the Blue River Trail is a great place to go. Um, our public works department maintains that trail throughout the winter. So it's plowed, it's safe, um, and it's a great place for dogs. Perfect. So what about indoor activities? What's going on at the rec center this time of year? Yeah, so um, the rec center is a great place to go. Super popular if you're looking for a way to kind of relax and hang out at the end of the day um, out in the snow. Hit up the pools, the hot tub, the sauna. Um, or if you're looking to get a workout inside, um, you know, our track, weight rooms, cardio area, the, weight um, the whole rec center is open for daily use if you're coming in town, um, as well as monthly annual memberships if you live here. Perfect. And so where would we find more information? Where can I go online to get information about all of those activities? Head to silverthorn.org for um, all the information about the Recreation Center, our parks, the Nordic Center, um, and don't forget ice skating at North Pond Park too. So all that information is at silverthorn.org. Silverthorn.org. And looking ahead, you can always see what we've got going on the next first Friday. She mentioned in March, we've got a, a rail jam coming yes, up. Yes, so. very excited for that one. It's one of our most popular first Fridays. Um, so we'll see everybody March first Friday at the rail jam. Beautiful. We'll mark it on your calendar. Christina, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. This is TV8 Summit Sunrise.